Hello, this is Golden Times Television here with the new chief editor of the Aegean magazine. Please, can you tell us your name and uh, where you're from? Yes, well, I'm Anna Gumbau and I'm from Aegea, Barcelona. And uh, so you've just found out recently that you have been appointed new editor-in-chief. So how did you realize or react how, when you found out? Well, actually, uh, it was something I was thinking about for long. It took me like a bit long to apply though because I really had to to make sure that I would have time enough about that. But when I realized I felt like I felt like very excited because especially I felt the support from my from my teammates that really encouraged me to, to apply and they were happy about my candidature, they just supported it. So what, what can I say? It was like a, a very big achievement for me, a very big challenge. But I'm I'm really looking forward really to start with. And you've already started working for the GN like 18 months ago? Uh, yes, I started about writing some freelance articles, like summer university stories or articles for the culture working group. My, but my serious involvement in the Asian started in, let's say, March of this year, February, March, when I started being in projects and working groups editor for the magazine. What was your first article that you wrote for the Asian magazine? Uh, my first article was about my first summer university in Asia, and it was the one organized by Asia Maastricht, Asia Brussels, uh, Leuven, and Amsterdam. So you're smiling, and so it was a good event. It was well, it was the, the event that motivated me to carry on in Asia. It was the first one, so it always remains very special. Indeed. You are studying journalism. Mm. So, and uh, how long have you been involved in journalism? Uh, well, actually. Uh, I started like uh, really working on it when I was 16 years old. I started doing some uh, workshops, seminars about about introduction to journalism, and at that same age, I hosted like my first uh, sort of radio program in a really? yeah in a local radio station in like in my hometown Mataró, which is like 40 kilo kilometers from Barcelona. And uh, yeah, afterwards, when I was 18, I entered university in there, and from that moment, I started to get involved in in online platforms, so I even led like uh, some sort of a sports uh, journalism magazine created by students and for students, which gave me like a very big, good background for the Asian. And then I actually came into my life and I had to leave the other projects aside, but I've never really got away from journalism because it's like what has motivated me the most since I was very, very young. It was it's, like my, big, my biggest passion, in fact. And but it sounds like you did a various variety of different things, like uh, uh, online journalism, radio. What about TV and print stuff, or what's and what's your uh, favorite favorite part? My favorite part is, has always been radio. Like I remember studying journalism, and I didn't see it really clear. But when I got myself in front of a microphone for the first time and saw that I was actually not really bad at, and uh, that I was feeling very comfortable, it was like. You always feel some kind of, of magic, and it's like a very fast media. It's like considered one of the most reliable ones, and I really have a good time working on it. And, and I love talking somehow, so it was like it really fits me. And I haven't really tried television, so it's like I cannot really say if I enjoy it or not because it's like a, an unknown feel for me. But I would like to try it though. What kind of radio show did you make? Uh, the first one when uh, when I was at the local station, it was from Curious and Funny News. We were like, uh, it was like a very stupid program after all. It was about humor and so on. And uh, I remember like we got like uh, a news, for example, I don't know, from uh, a bank in the United States that was uh, robbed by a guy who was going on a wheelchair or something like that. And then we, we had some guys who were actors and were imitating like... Uh, the possible uh, scenery, you know, and then I was uh, also when I was uh, at university hosting like the um, the university uh, radio podcast, let's say about the news of uh, of uh, the university, what was going on, interviews, and so on. Do you have other hobbies aside from journalism and AJ? Well, I love reading a lot, which is somehow connected, and just um, music is possibly. I really like the most just sitting around, getting uh, laid on the bed, listening to music and just de-stress myself. It's like the things that I enjoy the most and of course just uh, going out for beer. I love beer. So it's like uh, relaxing and chilling because sometimes I can be a very, very lazy person.
With your love for uh, radio, does it mean that the Aegean is going to have some radio show in the future? I haven't really considered about that, but we are a really good option if someone else liked it. Maybe at the Agora or something like that, a special program? We could, well, we could, we could manage actually, you gave me a really good idea. Yeah, make a no, studio. But uh, possibly one of the things that I would really like to, to focus on the magazine is like to try to somehow uh, not being only a, a channel of information but also like trying to be a journalism school. I don't see the Asian only as the point where I get the information of Asia but also like a place where I could develop myself and I would like to the rest of the team members to, to feel the same. So if I can use my experience somehow to I don't know, to help or to create new projects or give new ideas for the magazine, for me, would be, would be really great. You could also cooperate with EG Academy and make a journalism school together. I thought about that, okay. actually. That was, that was on my plans. I, did, I don't want really to jinx it, but uh, it's, it's an option that I'm really considering. And we have been speaking for long in the Asian, actually. And it has been done before in Asia as well, so there's, uh, it's, it's a great idea and always works. Uh, final thing, um, so what else do you want to change or improve or what's your own footprint that you will put in the, into the Asian? So what mm. will you be your I would, uh, I would really like to, to get like a, a very active uh, team of journalists who can approach the news and can uh, uh, Get to the, get the network to know like the, the stories from the from the people that uh, conform this association, which is really awesome. And each one of us has like a I always say that each one of us has a story, like a like a very interesting story, and I would like them to to be read. I want a, a united team. Like um, we really have fun. This is possibly like a more internal goal and externally. Um, first goal is to try to improve uh, even more the quality of the magazine. I always say that my predecessors, Stephanie, Trisha, have done a really good job, but still there's always room for improvement and I would uh, like to go on next level with that. And uh, the rest, uh, we'll see, just to try to, to get the, the network informed and to, to achieve like a, what we, like we want to do, that is like having fun while doing journalism and doing IEG. Thank you very much and good luck. Thank you very much to you, Gunnar.